Now in here we added these columns but we forgot to add one more column which is date of birth. So let's see how we can add a new column into our existing table. So let's open our project and in here let's clear this. Let's create a new migration for that. So you will type php artisan my sorry make migration now this time we will name this add date of birth to student then after dash 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 let me make it bigger let's close this one dash dash table and give it the table name which is student enter it has been created now let's go and in here i already have my schema just i have to add the column name so let's add it let's type here dollar sign table then that data type so i'm using date of birth so for this it would be date then date of birth and i want this date of birth to be in a label so what will i type is dash null label this will make our column a label which will accept the null value as well now let's add a new column also so in here i will add the gender because uh, i want to show the default value and enum also so let's say table and this time the data type would be enum and i will call this gender then i will open an array so this will be is uh, values one is m for ma male and another one is f for female then we can also set a default value for this so we will say default should be m or male now in the uh, down method of uh, this migration i have to drop these columns because when we re reverse our migration i want these two columns to be deleted from my table so in here i will type dollar sign table arrow key drop column and give him that column name so i want to drop this column so let's add the name in here and also i want to drop and the gender column so i will say drop column then the gender column name now let's run our migration again let's type php artisan my grade enter migration is finished now let's go here let's close this one let's select all our students so let's open it now in here i have two more columns one is date of birth and another one one is gender if i alter this now in here as you guys can see it, my date of birth is label, but my gender is not label, and my gender data type is enum with male and female values and by default it's male now let's add another column user id for our students so each of our students should have a user in our users table as well so let's open our terminal let's clear this one let's create a new migration by typing php artisan make migration add user id to students and dash dash then I, our table name which is student enter uh, sorry 
table is equal to students. Okay, it has been created. Now let's go in here and add a new columns. So I want my user ID to be a foreign key and it should be connected to my users table. So for that, I will type table dash foreign ID. Enter and I will type my column name which is user dash ID and I want it to be connected with my users table. So I will say constraint then my users table. So the users table is like this. Now let's type this users. I can also add make it cascade on update and on delete so I can type on delete and I will say cascade and as well as on update so for both of them I want this to be cascade so I will type cascade now let's create the drop method also the down method for this foreign ID also so let's type here dollar sign table drop for run and the user id so it will be the user id here then after that we will say dollar sign table drop column and the user id in here as well now Let's run our migration. Let's clear this in our terminal and type PHP artisan migrate. Enter. Our migration is finished. Let's go here. Let's select all from our students and the user ID has been created.